is that orthopedic surgeon should think about vitamin D25 is the most appropriate study to assess and monitor vitamin D status in the body. Vitamin D is important for proper maturation and development of bone. It's also important in immunity and play a role in other conditions. The main action of vitamin D is absorption of the calcium and phosphate from the intestine. The vitamin D comes from diet, from supplements, and exposure to the sun. Exposure to the sun for 15 minutes will give the person about 10,000 units of vitamin D. The average daily requirement of vitamin D is approximately 400 to 800 international units. The vitamin D gets activated metabolically in the liver and in the kidney. That occurs by hydroxylation. The carbon-25 hydroxylation occurs in the liver and the 1-hydroxylation occurs in the kidney. Big number, big organ. The 25-hydroxylation occurs in the liver. The end result will be an effective form of vitamin D and it is called 125 vitamin D. And that active form will work mainly on the intestine and on the bones. The activation of vitamin D to 125 hydroxy vitamin D is controlled by the parathyroid hormone. Any deficiency or any problem in the process of activating vitamin D3 to its active form will lead to deficiency of vitamin D in the body. Vitamin D deficiency is very common and the majority of people are not aware of it. In fact, vitamin D deficiency symptoms are subtle and nonspecific. The 25 vitamin D has a long half-life and higher concentration. It's probably easier to measure and obtain than the active form, which is 125 vitamin D. The half-life of 25 hydroxy vitamin D is 2-3 to three weeks, while the half-life of 125 dihydroxy vitamin D is only 4-6 to six hours. The circulating levels of vitamin D25 is 1,000 times more than 125 vitamin D. Therefore, vitamin D25 is the best study to determine vitamin D deficiency in the body. A low level of 25 vitamin D can mean that the person is not getting enough exposure to the sun or not getting enough dietary vitamin D, or there might be a problem of absorbing vitamin D from the intestine. The patient may take dilantin, which interfere with hydroxylation of vitamin D in the liver. A low level of 125 vitamin D usually indicates a kidney disease. Forty percent of the U.S. population have vitamin D deficiency. Symptoms of deficiency may include fatigue and tiredness, not sleeping well, muscle weakness, bone pain, osteoporosis, osteomalacia, fractures. The elderly patients are vulnerable to vitamin D deficiency. They usually live indoors or in nursing homes with no sun exposure. They may not eat enough food that contain vitamin D. They may not get enough supplements. Its deficiency may impair wound healing or may affect wound healing. Deficiency may cause bone loss, 
deficiency places the elderly patient at risk of fractures. It may cause slow healing of the fracture or non-union of the fractures. So if you find a patient with fractures not healing well, or a patient with fractures from low energy, or you find the bone mass is inadequate, or the patient have osteoporosis, this is the time to get vitamin D25 level. The Endocrine Society defines vitamin D deficiency as 25 vitamin D level below 20 nanogram per milliliter and insufficiency at the level between 21 and 29 nanogram per milliliter. In general, a 25 vitamin D level greater than 30 nanogram per milliliter is probably adequate, but these numbers are controversial. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.